Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles. So we're gonna talk about Space Daddy. Space Daddy is pulling out and Twitter might be screwed. Yeah, it sounds like Space Daddy, Elon Musk, does not intend to buy Twitter after all. And there's a talk of a lawsuit and uh, this is becoming quite the mess. Now we know that uh, Musk has had some issues with the transaction, with uh, purchasing Twitter because he wants to know that he's not buying a pig in a poke, that uh, Twitter is real, and apparently they're not providing the information he wants, or he's not able to parse it the way he wants, or maybe he just wants out because $44 billion is a crazy amount of money to pay for a company like Twitter. Whatever the reason, he's saying he's not going to complete the transaction. Twitter says they're going to sue him. Uh, if he does not buy Twitter, I don't know what happens to Twitter. I really don't. Its credibility has been completely undermined, completely destroyed. We had to re-record re the uh, the video. We did a video earlier talking about the hiring freeze and that they weren't going to, um, you know, acquire any new quote unquote talent. And uh, now it turns out that uh, Elon Musk is is not going to buy the company at all. Apparently, allegedly, possibly, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rants guys, over 272,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Um, we do talk about Twitter. We've been following the situation with Twitter because Twitter has become ground zero for cancel culture. Uh, Twitter has had an inordinate amount of influence on pop culture, on the media. Um, you know, people are living and dying, literally, in many cases, by Twitter. And, you know, to see Elon Musk come in, regardless of what you think of him, and kind of toss a hand grenade into that that uh, ecosystem. It was brilliant. I loved watching it. I did. Uh, now it looks like the uh, chaos may be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to Twitter. I really don't care. I don't know if I'm going to stick around. I have no idea. Uh, I was sticking around because I thought it might be fun if uh, Twitter is is rolled back to, to center um, and, uh, if we had somebody like Elon Musk in charge, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to play out. Anyway, coming from the Hollywood reporter, Elon Musk tells Twitter he's terminating his acquisition of the company. Uh, the mogul wrote a letter to the social media platform on Friday, claiming the company is in breach of the merger agreement. Um, he's terminating his proposed acquisition, arguing they're in breach. Musk's letter said that he wants out of the deal because Twitter is in material breach of multiple provisions of the agreement, appears to have made a false misleading representation upon which Mr. Musk relied when entering into the merger agreement and is likely to suffer a company material adverse effect. Anyway, in turn, Twitter said it will pursue legal action against Musk to ensure the deal goes through at the agreed upon terms. We're going to force you to pay us $44 billion, even though this company is not worth that. The Twitter board is committed to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk and plans to pursue legal action to uh, encore the merger agreement. We're confident that we will prevail in the Delaware Court of Chancery. Um, Brett Taylor, the chair of Twitter's board, tweeted on Friday. Specifically, Musk once again said that Twitter did not provide enough information about its bot and spam accounts on the platform and did not give Musk and his team enough data to conduct their own uh, analysis. In short, Twitter has not provided enough information that Mr. Musk has requested for nearly two months, notwithstanding his repeated detailed clarifications intended to simplify Twitter's identification, collection, and disclosure of the most relevant information sought in Musk's original requests. Uh, while Twitter has provided some information, the, the information has come with strings attached, use limitations, or other artificial formatting features, which has rendered some of the information minimally useful to Mr. Mr. Musk and his advisors. The, the fire hose is worthless, I guess. Musk also claimed that some key executive departures at the company, layoffs, and a hiring freeze were all made without first consulting him, which he says is also a breach of the deal. Per the deal, Musk may also be on the hook to pay a billion-dollar breakup fee for walking away from the takeover. Uh, Wedbush analysts called Musk's decision Friday a disaster scenario for Twitter. Not for Musk, for Twitter. And predicted that shares of the company would open in the $25 to $30 range Monday morning, saying the street is wary, wary of any court battle. 
Shares of Twitter were down 7% in extended hours trading uh, Friday after having opened at 37.51. From the beginning, this was always a head scratcher to go after Twitter at $44 billion uh, for Musk and never made much sense to the street. Now it ends, uh, for now, in a twilight zone ending with Twitter's board back against the wall and many on the street scratching their head around what's next. What's next is he renegotiates the price. Um, if I had to guess, I think he's going to come back and be like, yeah, I'll give you like half of that because that's all you're worth and nobody else wants your worthless ass either. Um, take it or leave it. I don't know. But they're, gonna, they're going to uh, uh, try to sue. This is after they try to enact the poison pill. Look, here's the thing. The damage is done. Twitter has looked absolutely buffoonish in the last couple of months, and so much shit has come out about Twitter and the inner workings of Twitter and how dubious Twitter is and how the board is, and, you know, this company is going to get flushed. If Elon Musk does not take it, it's it's worthless. You know, we're, we're entering into a phase now with a recession coming up that uh, a lot of these big tech companies, they can't fake it anymore. They can't fake it. They have to be able to stand on their own two feet. And I, I guarantee you, if this deal falls through, that some advertisers and investors are probably going to sue Twitter. And they're probably going to sue them and be like, you didn't give Elon Musk what he needed. We lost a shit ton of money because of you. And uh, we're suing you. And then the advertisers are going to sue. Because they're going to have questions about how legit the data is, how how legit the views are. And they might start looking into the situation going back, you know, five or six years and being like, you've been feeding us false information, Twitter. You've been charging us, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in, in uh, ad, ad revenue uh, every month. And we thought we were actually targeting the right demographics and all that. And it turned out we were just advertising to a bunch, bunch of bots. Yeah, so this could open up Pandora's box. Absolutely. Um, that being said, do I think he's going to walk away with Twitter? I don't know. He might. He might. He might, he might walk away at a much uh, uh, reduced rate. And he talked about that on Twitter before. That it's, frankly, he can't prove that it's worth $44 billion. And um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, guys. But uh, again, like I said, the damage is done to Twitter. If, if Musk doesn't buy it, it's like, who the hell is going to trust this platform anymore? I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.